We're given the vector valued function r of t and asked to find the unit tangent vector function t of t and then the unit tangent vector at the point t equals zero. Let's begin by determining the point of tangency on the curve by determining r of zero. To find r of zero, we'll substitute zero for t into r of t. So the x component would be five times zero squared plus one, that would be one. The y component would be negative e raised to the power of negative three times zero. And since e to the zero is equal to one, the y component would be negative one. And when t is zero, we'd have two times sine zero, which is zero. So the z component would be zero. So this vector has its terminal point on the curve, which means the point of tangency would be the point one comma negative one comma zero. Now we'll find the unit tangent vector valued function t of t, which is equal to r prime of t divided by the magnitude of r prime of t. Then we'll evaluate t of t at t equals zero to find the unit tangent vector. And then we'll look at all of this graphically. So the unit tangent vector valued function, again, is equal to r prime of t divided by the magnitude of r prime of t. So for r prime of t, the x component would be the derivative of two t squared plus one with respect to t, which would be 10 t. The y component would be the derivative of negative e raised to the power of negative three t. So we'd have negative and then e to the power of negative three t times the derivative of negative three t, which is negative three. And the z component would be the derivative of two sine of negative three t. So that would be two times cosine negative three t times negative three. We want to divide this by the magnitude of r prime of t, but before we do that, let's go ahead and simplify the y and z components. So again, the x component is 10 t. The y component would be positive three e to the negative three t and the z component would be negative six cosine negative three t. And now again, we're gonna divide by the magnitude of r prime of t, which would be the square root of 10 t squared plus three e to the negative three t squared plus negative six cosine negative three t squared. Let's go ahead and simplify the radicand. So again, our prime of t is gonna stay the same. And now for the magnitude of our prime of t, let's write this as 10 t squared would be 100 t squared. Now here when we square three times e raised to the power of negative three t, three squared is nine, so we have plus nine when we square e raised to the power of negative three t, we'd multiply the exponents. So we'd have e to the power of negative six t. And then plus, here we'd have positive 36 cosine squared negative three t. So we're gonna go ahead and leave t of t in this form. Again, this is the unit tangent vector valued function. And now to find the unit tangent vector at t equals zero, we'll evaluate this at t equals zero. Let's do this on the next slide. So the unit tangent vector, t of zero, would again would be r prime of zero divided by the magnitude of r prime of zero. So if we substitute zero for t, notice how the x component of r prime of zero would be zero. The y component would be three times e to the zero, which is just three and the z component would be negative six times cosine zero, which is negative six. And now we'll substitute t equals zero into the magnitude. So we'd have the square root of, when t is zero, this would be zero, plus e to the zero is equal to one, so plus nine, plus cosine zero is equal to one, so plus 36. Notice here we have the square root of 45, and since 45 is equal to nine times five, this simplifies to three square root of five. So let's go ahead and write the unit tangent vector, 
t of zero as one over three times the square root of five times the tangent vector zero comma three comma negative six. Let's go ahead and perform the scalar multiplication. So we'd have zero comma three divided by three square root of five comma negative six divided by three square root of five. And we'll simplify one more time. Our unit tangent vector at t equals zero would have an x component of zero. Here we have a common factor of three. Three over three simplifies to one over one. So the y component is one divided by square root of five. And here we have a common factor of three as well. There's one three in three and two threes in six. So the z component is negative two divided by square root of five. So again, here's our unit tangent vector valued function. And here is the unit tangent vector at t equals zero. Let's take a look at this graphically. So the black curve is the curve traced out by the vector valued function. R of zero is this purple vector here. Notice how the terminal point is the point of tangency on the curve. And then I sketch the unit tangent vector twice in component form, it's this red vector here with the initial point at the origin. But if we move the initial point to the point of tangency, we can also see the unit tangent vector here, and we can graphically verify that is a unit tangent vector. And remember, this unit tangent vector is pointing in the direction of increasing values of t, which means as t increases, the curve is traced in this direction. I hope you found this helpful.